Parents, welcome to another episode of The Journey, a podcast intended to educate, equip, and entertain you as we talk about important issues facing our families. PCA is a Christ-centered, biblically-based, and family-focused community of committed believers doing life together. We hope the information you hear on this podcast informs and inspires you to be a better parent. Welcome to The Journey. All right, parents, welcome back to The Journey. Dan Panetti. I've got a wonderful group of ladies, um, our development team um, and alumni, that we're going to talk about um, all things related to the PCA Fund and North Texas Giving Day because it's already September and you can give already, which I didn't even know about. It's not just North Texas Giving Day. It's like North Texas Giving. You know what it is? It's like my wife's birthday. Birth month. It's birth month. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> it is. Celebrate it all is. month long. Right? I, did, I didn't know that until I married her and I realized there's a thing called a birth month. month. Yeah. Right? All of March we celebrate Trisha, which is awesome because she, <laughs> hey, can I tell you? She's earned it. That's there right. That's right? true. She has earned it. So anyway, so we've earned it here, right? We're going to celebrate North Texas Giving Day mm-hmm. all month of September. So you can give now, but we want to find out a little bit more about what it is, what it drives, what it moves, right? I mean, just kind of our parents, especially for those who are new, mm-hmm. uh, need to know about it. But even if you've been here right for a long time, you might go, hey, I need a little refresher on that. So who wants to start off with, um, I guess, maybe the PCA fund, which, which is what North Texas Giving Day goes toward? Yes. So <clears throat> what is the PCA fund? Um, It's a fund that provides crucial support for our school by addressing our immediate needs across all areas of campus. Love it. Donations to this fund in the 22-23 school year enabled us to enhance learning opportunities, meet departmental budget needs, provide faculty training, and increase campus security. And Mm -hmm. you paid for that one golf outing for me. No? (laughs) And real quick. Is that not supposed to go in there? Can can we cut that? Yeah. I'm just kidding. Just a, kidding. Sure, yeah. this was Lauren Allenbach, by the way. Yeah. Lauren oh, Allenbach, with that. director of annual funds. Yes. That's why Megan's here. You know, know. Megan let's is just the queen let of the people know who yes. is here. So, Lauren, introduce yourself first. Yeah. Lauren Allenbach, director of annual funds. I love it. Been at the school for 15, this is our 15th year. I have a senior, a seventh grader, and a third grader. Yes. Senior. And you said, you said senior without crying. Hmm. I'm kind of 50 50. We're ready. On that. We're ready. We're kind of ready. Hey, We're Grant, even ready. Ready to go. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? I think he's ready to go too. Uh, he probably which is. Which is awesome. Yeah. yeah. That's good. Okay. So good. We got um, the PCA fund. Mm-hmm. Let's let's pause as we go before there, right? Mm-hmm. And Alex, introduce yourself then. Alex Bellamy, Director of Alumni Relations. I And, and an alumni. Mm-hmm. And <gasps> an alumni. This is so crazy. So a graduate yes. of the class of 2006. Nobody asked you that though. We did not have to put a date on it. <laughs> oh. so that's, that's totally you throwing that out there. That is. Okay. Still young. Yeah. Yeah. I'll take it. We have a young alumni base. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. We do. We're growing. We, we actually do. We do. Which is awesome. Yes, but we are growing more and more every year. A lot of really good people. Mm-hmm. Yep. Really good people. And then Megan. Yes, I'm Megan Rogers, and I am um, Director of Development Operations, and I serve here at our Plano campus and our North campus. And I've got a first grader boy, and we are, this is my 11th year going into PCA, and I'm so excited to do a podcast again with you, Dan. I know. Yes. So, it's we have exciting times happening um, at PCA right now. It is. It is very exciting times, and we want to make sure that we get the resources to the places that help this school run, mm-hmm. and that's what right the PCA fund is all about. That's right. Right. So go through that again. Trying to just give me the the emphasis of what the PCA fund is. Sure. So it. The the impact of the PCA fund touches every aspect of our school, ensuring Mm. that we can continue to provide the highest quality education and support to our students and our faculty. So important. Yeah. So important. You know, one of the things I've loved about PCA, I've been here, I guess, 19 years on staff, 21 years kind of in the PCA environment is just how generous um, the PCA Mm -hmm. community has been. And one of the things I love about it, because I used to run a nonprofit before I came here, and there were some big donors every once in a while, but the faithful donor, mm-hmm. right? The Absolutely. $20 a month, the $50 yes. a month, the people Definitely. who just could give. Mm-hmm. And that's one of the things about this particular like fundraiser, this particular opportunity, mm-hmm. um, is you're looking for new donors coming on board. Mm-hmm. You're looking for just people who, you know, anybody can give anything. That's right. Um, and it's, it's could we get 100%? 
right? Could we mm -hmm. get 100% of our PCA community to just give something? Mm -hmm. And I think that's kind of what the, the goal of this is. So great opportunity, makes it super easy. It is. But that's that's the whole thing behind it. So right. Well, um, and even, I want to pause real quick. Yeah. Even into that, we um, did a huge staff giving um, recently. And so all of our staff, we have, we've said, we want you to buy into this um, with us. We are, are all in this together. Mm -hmm. And so not only if it's just the community, our parents, um, but it's also our staff getting 100% behind this initiative. Mm -hmm. And we are so excited because the PCA Fund really does so much for our school. Like Lauren said, it's really the margin of excellence. Mm -hmm. it's, it's the things that um, make PCA so much better than it what it is. And for this year for our Plano campus, um, we typically raise about 500000 And um, with that same fund, we are shooting for 60000 for our North campus, awesome. which we were super excited because last year at our North campus, we raised over $53,000, which our goal was fifty, So we exceeded it mm -hmm. on North Texas Giving Day. Mm -hmm. And we are excited and pumped and believe that our community could really help push for that again this mm -hmm. next year. Yeah. Um, but, you know, it does provide so much for our school. It helps with the police officers on campus. It helps with security needs and installation. Um, one of the major needs that North Campus specifically needed was they had a major donor come and provide provide um, Promethium boards for the classrooms, awesome. but there was a little bit additional cost that needed to go with that. And the PCA fund at the North campus helped supplement that space. Mm -hmm. And so there was just a lot of opportunity for, you know, these funds to be used and the funds that are going to be raised for this next year are also going to go into really great causes for our school. That's cool. Now the North Texas giving day is actually a day though. Correct. So you can give all month, but that one specific day, there's something kind of unique mm -hmm. um, where there's a lot of different um, nonprofit groups that are all kind of pushing for this particular day. Mm -hmm. And if you do things really well, if our kind of PCA community comes out and shows up in force like it has in the past, mm -hmm. there's extra benefits that we can get on that particular day, right? That's right. Like bonus dollars. That's right. Yes. We so are, we already have set up um, matching gifts. We have two donors that are going to be matching gifts, um, dollar for dollar. And, and then I'll let you speak into. Yeah, we have um, on that day, it's all nonprofits in the North Texas area. Whoever wants to participate can participate on North Texas Giving Day. And so it's not just us, it's other schools, mm -hmm. and there's a lot of competitions, mm -hmm. there's a lot of um, excitement, the news gets involved, you'll see it, you know, mm -hmm. you turn on the news that day, and there's just a whole, you know, big atmosphere of giving on North Texas Giving Day. So we really push that day for our community because it really benefits our school with the funds that are provided for us. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have grade level challenges for our school. That's so awesome. I'll let Lauren kind of speak into what those grade level challenges are. And they're kind of the same across the board. Yes. Yeah, so for both Plano and North, um, lower school, the lower school grade level with the greatest participation, not dollar amount, but participation, will get a snow cone day. And we're doing the same thing for middle school. And then upper school will get Chick-fil-A chicken minis. Oh, wow. Yeah. So when you go to the North Texas Giving Day website, mm -hmm. you will, you know, log on, you'll see it right there, give your gift, and there's a drop-down menu. Okay. And you can pick, you know, Plano or North, where it, whichever student you have. Um, and we are encouraging parents to do a donation per student. It actually helps us so that um, North Texas Giving Day has a lot of really fun incentives. You know, we can win bonus prizes right. for um, – and for the like unique donor mm -hmm. or how many donors if we've had more from last year there's just a lot of really opportunities for us to get even more bonus money mm -hmm. and so um, we encourage you to go in you know pick Plano kindergartner or north 12th grader mm -hmm. whatever it is so that their class gets counted for their grade level challenge oh, which is so awesome now what about the alumni well we like I said, we have a growing alumni base, and so this year we really want our alumni to give back because it just creates some ownership and investment back mm. into your community, and it's such a special thing to feel like you're still a part of that community as an alumni. So, hey, you don't have to feel like you are. You are. You are. You are. I, I've heard it said before. I don't know where this came from, but it's like, it's something like once a lion. Always a lion. lion. Is that so true? Now, it here's, is. Here's, but here's the cool thing about PCA, okay? Um, I went to a college. And I was there for a couple of years. Okay. And they asked me for money all the time. Mm -hmm. Okay. The kids who went to PCA, 
a, a lot of them, right, mm -hmm. especially those who are lifers, were here for like 50, my kids were here for 15 years. Mm -hmm. And really during a very influential time in their lives. And so in a sense, when you look at where, where do I want to give my resources back to, uh, I think that the idea of PCA holds such a, such a valuable and important place in the lives of so many of our alumni that this school, right, actually can trump the college experience in terms of, hey, I want to give back to that. So I know um, the Blue and Golds, right, is yes. those alumni who have brought their kids mm -hmm. back, which is, you're one of them. I am. So sweet, kind of a neat thing. So is. just this is just another opportunity for those who have enjoyed, right, what PCA has invested into them mm -hmm. to kind of invest something back into the next generation. Absolutely. And so we're going to offer an incentive for alumni, too. Every fifth alumni uh, that donates that day will um, – get something in return snow cone? yes they can come on <laughs> campus for snow cone. See? no okay. yes. <laughs> maybe if they have kids here and their class wins they'll get snow cones yeah. but uh we will have incentives for alumni every fifth alumni that day we'll get um we'll just send something to them as a thanks for donating um but you're right it is it is a special thing to be able to give back to your school and i'm one of those like my college is great but pca has been such an impact in my life personally that even my kids would tell you that's my number one place. They go, who's your team, Mom? The PCA Lions. Mm. So, mm. yes, definitely bleed blue and gold, and I am honored to be a blue and gold. Love it. That's awesome. what, what, would you, what would you say to the parent who says, doesn't my tuition pay for all of that? Right. What what is this that you, you talk about the margin of excellence? The like margin is, of excellence. What does that mean? That's right. So tuition covers, you know, kind of the basic needs. Mm -hmm. it, it's the needs that every student needs to succeed at PCA. However, we want to go beyond that. We want to make PCA the margin of excellence. We want it to be more um, of, of an opportunity for our kids to experience more. Therefore, the PCA fund, these these dollars help us do that and help us do it really well. And so it does provide, you know, a lot of different things to this fund. And we wanted to give specifics like the police officer and security, um, cameras. security cameras, classroom tools. There's mm -hmm. just a lot that goes into it. Um, but I do want to share with alumni when they give on that day, there is a general fund. It's either general Plano or general North. And okay. so when they go on to give, they can either pick if they're blue and gold, they'll probably want to put their kiddos, you know, grade level, mm -hmm. but if they're not, and they don't have kids here mm -hmm. or anybody in the community, right. Um, that wants and loves and wants to support our school, we would love for them to pick one of the general Plano or North little on the drop down menu and give towards our school. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you don't have to be actually involved with PCA or have kids here or even be an alumni to give to PCA. Mm -hmm. So if you're listening to this and you're thinking to yourself, education is important and a Christian worldview is what separates these students from kids who go to some other place, mm -hmm. right? And I want to make sure that as many kids can get a biblical worldview and an education at PCA as possible, then this would be a great institution to give to. Absolutely. Absolutely. I love mm -hmm. it. Yep. Can they get a snow cone too? <laughs> <laughs> we can figure it I'm out. Wondering. I just want to get a snow cone. <laughs> you know, can, you, can you tell that's where I'm going? I want a snow, snow cone. Our I'm school just out. really puts out. We mm -hmm. want faith-filled lines. Yes. Mm -hmm. And... We want people to partner with us, yeah. and we love to really enhance the student experience and um, give our students the opportunity to grow academically, spiritually. That's mm -hmm. number one. Mm -hmm. And then all the things that else fall into place. So good. Alex, just from, a, from an alumni perspective, right, when you walk the halls to a parent perspective as your kids are walking the halls, right, um, what's that kind of feel like to you that the school that, you know, poured a lot into you now is pouring into your children? It's actually a surreal experience. I mean, I was at upper school retreat a few weeks ago, mm -hmm. just listening to these kids worship and hearing what is being poured into them. And I could not be more proud of the way our teachers love our students, the way that they give their heart and their soul to teach them. And they pour every ounce of their relationship with Jesus Christ back into these kids. And these classrooms are a very special place and it's a gift to be able to send my kids here. So yeah. as somebody who walked these halls, being able to see my kids walk these halls and knowing the relationship with Jesus that they're growing up seeing in their teachers and in the staff here, there's just, to me, there's nothing like it. Yeah. 
It is. It is. And I've got, you know, three of my kids have graduated from here. Um, and one of them is still here. And so it's a, from a parent perspective, it is a great place to have my young, you know, students, my kids, um, because the things that we're doing at home Mm -hmm. and the things that our church is pouring into them, right. Then I don't have to send them to a school and then bring them back and undo everything. Mm. Like it is, is reinforced what we're doing at home and the church and the school working together. So it's a great thing from a parent perspective, looking at this and saying, Hey, if I want to invest my resources and my money and my time and my energy, I can't think of anything that I'd rather put it in to, to, you know, than to something that's developing my own kids, mm-hmm. right? I mean, it, it really is. It's a, it's a self-centered, mm-hmm. right? What can, what can better my kids? And, yeah. and giving to anything that supports PCA um, and enhances their education and their opportunities, I'm like, this is a no-brainer for me. So this is a great opportunity. Anything else our parents need to know specifically about, right, the giving, the day, the event, anything that, I mean, I know there's going to be a lot of fanfare that particular day. There will be. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to have signs at Carpool starting um in the next couple of weeks. And the band and, and the cheerleaders. Yes, okay. yes. You'll be able to be <laughs> the band, the cheerleaders, uh, all of it. But you'll be able to um, track your child's um, grade level progress. Okay. Um, and you can uh, go to the website. That's important. NorthTexasGivingDay.org forward slash donate forward slash PCA Lions. Okay. Um, yeah. All the kids are going to be wearing lower kids, lower school kids are going to be wearing stickers with the QR code. Uh Um, the parents are going to receive postcards and their, and the kids backpacks and stuff a couple days prior. Mm -hmm. So really, I mean, now until then we encourage, you know, go to our website. It's going to be all over social media as well. So Uh click on the link and that, and give, um, and there's no, there's no like, reason to wait to give until the last until, until the actual day september 20 what is it 20, 21st, 21st? Yes. so there's no reason to wait so there's not like oh you know i'll miss out on um you know the matching gift or i'll miss out on something if i give now right like you can give yeah, now. early giving is open early yes. giving is open okay mm-hmm. give now, give now. <laughs> and, <laughs> right? and you can give later too and you can yes. give later right? too <laughs> That's right. If you, you know, somehow miss the day and you come and give the next day, we will make sure it counts yeah. towards your like child's like voting, right? Level. Vote early, vote often. That's <laughs> right. <laughs> totally different. But, Just you know, kidding. we have an amazing community here yes. at PCA. Mm-hmm. And we've been doing North Texas Giving Day for several years now. Okay. And I really just want to thank our parents, our faculty, um, all of those who have been part of this, who have already given yeah. in the past. Every year we have hundreds of donations. And it, if it wasn't for our um, community here that mm-hmm. gives, mm-hmm. we wouldn't be able to provide the necessary resources for our students. Mm-hmm. So I really just want to say a thank you. Thank yeah. you to those who've already given. And thank you for continuing to be faithful and give beyond um, what is what is called from them to do. Um, you know, God gives us all different talents and resources. And sometimes people can often give way more than somebody else, but every gift matters. Every, you know, $5 gift to $5,000. I mean, any gift matters at, for the PCA fund. We are so grateful. I think that's important, right? I mean, time's talent, time, talent, and treasure. I I think the concept is, is whatever level that God's blessed you with, the idea of just being able to pass some of that on of Mm -hmm. saying, Hey, this is important. So if it's a $5 gift, right. And that's all you can give, right. Give it Mm -hmm. right. And it's, Tons more than that, right? And you want to give more than that, then give it. That's right. Just, right. It's the par- it's the percent of participation that really demonstrates how many people have bought into the heart of PCA right. and really <clears throat> want to support it, mm-hmm. right? That's not just, you know, the dollar amount because we know right. some people could write a huge check right. and whatever, right? And if that's it, that's great. But it's buying into that heart of PCA and saying, hey, I want to participate in this and I want you to know that we support what you're doing at PCA. Mm-hmm. We love our teachers. We love our faculty and staff. Alumni saying, hey, mm-hmm. we love going there and we yes. want to give this to somebody else. Even if my kids don't go there, I want to make sure that somebody else's students mm-hmm. who are mm-hmm. there are getting the benefits of being a part of PCA. Absolutely. So I think together, right, it's going to be a great month, right? It will a, be. It is. A giving month. Mm-hmm. It's so fun, celebrate. Dan. It's so much fun. Is. Vortex's is Giving Day is like, it's like the pumpkin latte, you know? Everybody gets ready for it. <laughs> It's finally here. And it's so much fun. We know we know what Megan likes. Yeah. <laughs> she's a she's a fall girl who goes and gets her pumpkin latte. Some days. Yes. That's awesome. right. Well, any, yeah, any last words for our parents other than thank you? Yes. Right? Thank you. As a as mm-hmm. a as just a, a shout out to the you know the people who have supported. I will say this, uh, if you've given in the past um, and you didn't get a snow cone, can can they come up 
I don't know. Dan <laughs> really wants a snow cone. He does want a snow cone. cone. So, he Dan, we will get you the the tiger blood uh, snow it is, cone. It is. That's, your, <laughs> that's what everybody wants. <laughs> That Trust is, me. That Cheers. is the best. Well, uh-huh. you guys have done a great job. Thanks for um, informing our parents and telling us a little bit more about North Texas Giving mm-hmm. Day, the PCA Fund, and just the incredible opportunities that we have for this entire month. And then don't forget, if you want to wait for the last day and come in on that, you know, whatever, it's September 21st. You'll see a bunch of fanfare, mm-hmm. but make sure that you give. That's yes. right. All right. Thank Thanks, you. ladies. Thank you. Thank you for investing the time to listen to this episode of The Journey. Please take a minute to share with friends and family who will also benefit from this valuable resource. And don't forget to rate and review this podcast on your favorite podcast app. It is truly our blessing and honor to walk with you on The Journey.